Okay, we're live. I'm going to check it here on my phone. I haven't done this in a while, so I'm out of practice. Yeah, it's working. What's up, Bama boy? Oh, man, my back hurts. RC Jers, what's happening? So, I was going to let some other people get in here, but I'll, I'll probably mention it several times. I've sold my trailer. Yeah, I'm not selling everything. Uh, I'm keeping my two-wheel drive, uh, keeping my crawler stuff. So, I'll, I'll do some two-wheel drive indoor racing if something comes up. Never know. I may get another eight scale. I'm not. I'm not getting out of it. I, I love RC stuff too much to get out of it. So, but <clears throat> the trailer, it's just sitting here. I don't get to use it that much. Sean, big deal. Uh, yeah, I recognize your name on there. Um, so I've cleaned most of the trailer out. I repaired some of the floor where it's rotted out back there, and uh, I'm gonna get the rest cleaned out over the weekend uh, it's already sold they're coming to pick it up not this friday but next so i've got a few more things i want to do before i uh take it out there i figured i'd come on here live and we could talk about it so it's already sold uh rc jers um i'm not gonna tell everybody what i sold it for got a good bit for it i think uh it's worth a lot. It's a nice trailer. So I've got some work I got to do to my crawler. Um, I got a new servo again from Holmes Hobbies. First one just was working great and just quit working. So I've also printed another servo and axle mount for it. Um, that's another thing I'm going to do. I'm going to buy me a, a for real printer. Taylor Adams, what's up? <laughs> First, I didn't realize who it was. Keep the nitro buggy. No, but nitro buggy's got to go. Uh, if I buy another buggy, it'll be a nitro buggy. So I'm going to go ahead and let this one go uh, while it's got some relevance good uh, the screen just blipped real, uh, my power went out just a second ago i had the air conditioner running i rigged up my microphone i hadn't done that in a long time so y'all let me know if you can hear me good it should be coming through loud and clear i'm getting beats all over the place now newer is definitely not always better I agree. My car is really good. I can always duplicate it if I have to. Uh, but right now, I'm not getting to use it. I can't travel right now. And so unless there was a track local, I went uh, a few weeks ago to go to RC3 in Huntsville. And uh, it, was sure, it, was, it looked like a sure fire deal. It, the weather was going to be good. And a, a strange storm popped up and flooded the track the night before. So um that was kind of an event for me to go to and decide what i want to do because i've been battling
Okay, I come back. Uh, computer dropped signal. It was trying to, cause I, I guess because I lost power, it was trying to connect to the house router where I got one over here. So I got it reconnected to the correct one. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, let me know if y'all got me back and if you can hear the audio okay. I got my microphone on. The audio should be great. Here you're working now. Okay. Audio sounds good, RC Jers. Your local tracks two. Two local tracks, two hours and three and a half. Okay, Keith, there's not one nine eight four one says all good. Thank you. Um so yeah, I went to that. I was talking about going to my race where it rained out at Huntsville. That was something I've been battling in my mind because this has been really tough for me. Uh sorry, I look all nasty because I've been working all day um so it was something i've been battling in my mind because i know that keeping all this stuff and let it just sit here not using it is the, the wrong and i need to let it go for now but the racer in me doesn't want to give it up uh and i'm not giving and i keep telling people i'm not quitting uh i'm just taking temporary leave from eight scale especially outdoor racing um just because i can't do it right now uh and it's foolish so i'm selling my tra a trailer is sold i've sold my e-buggy all my spare parts i still got the nitro buggy and i got the nitro engine uh a handful of servos and i got some fuel i got radio headsets i got a starter box and all that jazz i got my I've actually got my radio sold. I hadn't intend on it. Old guy, an older racer that I say older, he's not old, but he's raced with us at the warehouse a lot. He's getting back in it. Josh King. He's mounting batteries from an e-buggy, a transponder and my radio. I wasn't planning on selling the radio, but I figured I'm selling all this stuff. Uh, I've kind of been wanting an M17. So I'm going to take some of that money and buy me an M17. Uh, just something I've wanted. So I still got my two-wheel drive buggy. I'm planning on racing Summit Columbus and Summit on track in uh, Theodore, which is Mobile. Um, so I love that. That's still pretty fun. So um, but what I've been focused on now is my crawler stuff. I've, I've been having a good time. We can go to Moss Rock uh, over in Hoover, which is, you know, what, 15, 20, 30 minutes away, about 30 minutes from here. And uh, you just go out there and goof off. It's, it's, it's a blast. I've been doing a lot of a lot of work with Bubba Arnold. He's the he's the man when it comes to a crawler around here. Yeah, I'm staying HB. Uh, Keither. Um, why not? I got an HB buggy, so who knows? No matter what, I can uh, I can buy me another buggy if I want to. What I'm going to do for now? I'm buying me a new printer. Uh, I've been 3D printing a lot of stuff, and enjoying that, and. Uh, I've been using a longer LK5, which is pretty good. It prints, this is, let's see if I can go here. This is my servo and axle mount. I've already got one in the crawler now. I see I've made, uh, I made these, uh, these skid plates. You can't, it might be a little too dark, but I made all that from scratch. Um, the, the, uh, the transmission rotated it, lowered it and rotated eight degrees. So the motor sits lower, get a lower center of gravity um anyway i'm buying me a, a bamboo x1 carbon uh which is an incredible printer i'm gonna have a lot of fun with that so uh, let's see oh keither's buddy bought him parts yeah uh, uh in texas yeah he was a little uh had a little, little skeptical about buying it you know he doesn't trust he's had some trouble buying stuff from people so i understand that but uh it's all good. I think he should have them. Uh, he should have them by now. I meant to text him and ask him, but the RC Jer says another warehouse closed. I could tell how hard it was on Danny. I, uh, nobody will ever understand how hard that's been on me. Uh, I've been depressed since October, and. Uh, it's been really tough and uh haven't been the same <clears throat> it's 
But anyway, I've been having fun. I'll show you some other things I did. Uh, some of you may have seen, or may or may not have seen the 3D printed. Uh, I'm calling them ain't foams. It's a 3D printed tire insert for a crawler, so it's like really soft and squishy, um, but it doesn't fold over on itself on the side like if you're on the side of a hill and everything. Those I've been making a bunch of those. That's been pretty fun. Um, yeah, I understand our seizures. Uh, this was, uh, for me, it was, you know, I can't really, I can't afford to travel. I bought this nice trailer to travel a lot and I can't do it, and, you know, with kids and everything. Uh, so I had it parked at the, at the warehouse and I pretty much lived there and pretty much for the most part ran the place for the last year or two and uh i've got all the dirt here still uh it's just uh too much work to keep up an outdoor track so it's, we're trying to just hold on to it for something one day and i can't afford to do it somebody's got to be able to take the leap to do it so um i need to be messing with this thing See my body I did is uh this was pretty fun to do these uh this body. See it says the hammers RC chop shop. I had to come up with something. The cool thing about this paint job is um it looks almost just like it did the day I painted it and this took a lot of hits. It's beat up a little bit on the side. I've got another new one to paint. I hadn't done it yet. But, um I had to get to work on this car a little bit. So yeah, he got a lot of parts. Talk about those parts. He got a lot of parts for a good price, I think. That's a collection of spares uh, since I've been racing with HB what, four or five years now. I would, I kept stocked up. I had some of everything. It's so hot in here. I can't run the AC now. Super hard when you bust your butt like every day and it gets taken away. I definitely feel your pain because I went through it. Yeah, it's. I have been the same. Uh, I'm not pleasant to be around right now. Um, I've been reminded of that several times. Um, I don't know. I want to say it's not just the track, but. Uh, I believe it is. I, I, I feel silly because of it, you know. Yeah, the also deal. I'm. You showed in the post. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, he has clutch shoes. That's why everybody asked me, "Have you tried the new uh, four shoe clutch?" I was like, "Why should I do that? I got butt loads of." Free shoe clutches and they work great so i've been asked that several times people want to know want me to do test videos and everything. I was like, i'm not buying them i got a box full of regular clutches that work great you know i've tried to get i tried to get uh people to give me parts but they, they never did that so i had to buy everything i tested so this one of the, this frustrating this print this uh this thing has this groove that slides down on the front axle and it had to print supports in there so it doesn't fall down itself. And they're super hard to get out. Yeah, it does affect mental health. I, I've always been very, very strong mentally to the point of where I don't understand why anybody has problems until the last year or so. Just hadn't been happy. Uh, HB three HB three shoe clutch longest lasting clutch in RC. I agreed. I the one that's in the car now. Uh, I ran it for months, and I I wouldn't hesitate to take it to a big race right now. It works great. Yeah, anybody that's got an HB that's considering going to some other clutch lost their freaking mind. 
clutch works perfect. I've got a spare axle. I got this uh, a whole bunch of new brass weight stuff on here. Uh, there's brass hubs, C hubs. I made these uh, copper pieces. Then the new diff cover. That thing's super heavy. You see, it's upside down because I flipped the drivetrain over so the, the car would torque the opposite direction. There's this one rock at Moss Rock that Bubba has created called the Bubba Line, and it's like a you're right side down, kind of almost straight uphill sideways. My car, the way it's designed, wants to lift the left front tire up the ground. It just lifts it up and it'll fall over. So now I reverse the rotation so it pushes it down into the ground. Keith, I ran the AE clutch of mine because I had a ton of parts to run, but the HB clutch is good for sure. Yes, the HB clutch is surprisingly, surprisingly good. I need to check something here. Uh, let's see. Sorry. Okay. I was just making sure that was something on the live stream was correct. HB clutch for the win. So, okay. You notice I don't have my glasses on. I just came from the eye doctor. Uh, gave me a sample pair of contacts. I'm supposed to be able to see up close good, but the focus is not there. I can't, I can't see it very good. I'm, I'm kind of just winging it here. I probably should take them out and put my glasses in so I can sit here like this. The idea is, my idea is at work, I do a lot of welding and uh, burning up my glasses. They're like these hot weld beads are landing on my lenses and burning them up. They, can't see nothing. They look like crap. So I figured I'd go wearing contacts again. Wear regular safety glasses. It's so hot in here. I got to wish I could turn my air on. I think that maybe too much running in the house. I don't want to cut off in the middle of the stream, so I'll just have to sweat. I drink me some of my lemonade. That's crystal light lemonade. It's freaking incredible. Keeps your eyes lubricated. So I gotta get I gotta cut this. See right now I can't see what this little Something is oh, a piece of plastic. This is too much work. Yeah, that's a good. Oh, shoot. That lost my microphone deal. That reminds me. I've got some drops. You keep them. He said I do have some dry eye problems. So now, a little better. I probably need to take the Dremel after this. So yeah, tomorrow I'll uh, I will probably take my glasses with me just in case. I do have some welding I need to do. It's 
so this mount so i was talking about my home servo this thing this crazy torque out of this low profile servo is pretty incredible um but this mount has a really thick mounting plate because it's plastic you want it to hold up well because this servo is so short and the wire comes out kind of in the middle i've got to shorten that area up so i printed a new one that's not as thick i had to grind dremel that one and this one is uh still a little tight i'm gonna probably actually if it's okay it's perfect so i don't know if you can see that so this uh well this is crazy if you're if you're not a crawler guy and you this was crazy to me for the first time as far as batteries so this mounts i ain't got it quite done uh if you're not a crawler guy this will be pretty neat so it sits on, it's got to go all the way down. It bolts on there. So the servo sits on top of the axle. Then the battery goes on top of it in the tray. Check out the size of this battery. This is an 850 4S. So it's like 30 bucks. Um, that's one thing I like about the crawlers. These parts are pretty cheap. So I've got this in the car, I've, in the truck, I've got just a, just a small rubber band uh, around there. Um, and the torque this thing does is, crazy it's like 700 and some ounce inches and it's it's lower profile so it's lighter weight it moves more forward so i can get the battery weight up forward and actually should have trimmed should have trimmed a little off of it this time let me slide back on here because this servo sits it's about a quarter inch shorter so I've got the battery doesn't need to go all the way back here. I can probably cut a half inch off of it. Not that I really need to. Then I, when I redesign it, next time I run, make one, I'll design it with that in mind. So the new printer I'm getting. Uh, so let me uh, let's see if I can find it. Bear with me a second. I'll find it. I'll put it on the screen. It's called a Bamboo X1 Carbon. Bamboo Lab. Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. Okay. Now let me see if I can figure this out. Uh, they've changed the, uh, I think that they've changed all the settings on StreamYard and I have no idea how to do it. Oh boy. It was really simple to put it on the screen. Edit layout. Okay. News layout. I can do this one, picture in picture, shift plus seven. Well, that's not working. Is it? Okay, there we go. Share screen. Okay, so here, okay, there we go. This is uh okay so this is the this is the p1p this is what i was considering this is the x1 carbon combo uh let's shop now if i can explain it better i'm, I'm just gonna do this brief thing this is a uh and a lot of the rc guys have been using this if you look up here it's got what's called an ams it's got four different colors of filament up there and it'll print multicolored stuff you just program it and it does it on its own it's got this nice touch screen all enclosed um see if i can play this video so probably because i got this nice book. but my printer Average print, red set. Average. 
millimeters a second. This one will do up to 20,000 millimeters a second. So a print that takes two hours on my printer, about 15, 20 minutes on this. And the quality is superb. Oh, it's got all the bed leveling and the LiDAR sensor there. It, it uh, makes adjustments as you go along. Uh, I'm super excited about that. It prints from the top. Bed moves up and down instead of the, the printer head moving up and down. So there's a the touch screen, 720 PSU. See how fast it's moving? Mine is like snail compared to that. Yeah, the rails are carbon fiber. It's got vibration, some kind of vibration technology that uh, it creates a frequency to keep it from vibrating, keep it steady. bore you with that anymore. I can try how to move it. Okay, there we go. Anyway, I'm excited about that. I, that's kind of been, you know, kind of been a, uh, a hobby, you know. That I can't really, I can hard to explain some of these things. This, uh, see this kid plate, this was aluminum. These side kids that had some balloons that were just like flat, so they got hung up on every rock you know, about the nine days. So they're a little lower profile than people's body. Uh, this, this, uh, this is pretty fun trying to figure these things out. There's Lisa. Lisa is not here. The pink chick. She's at the lake with friends. Kind of jealous. So, uh, you all still want to say hello? Oh, so, yeah. Oh, I still got that printer in the front door back there. Another thing I'm going to do, me and Lisa have been talking about, is the possibility, possibly, I don't know if anybody has seen my. As I should be, what is that? Um, I don't know if any of you have seen my daily drivers, the EG, Honda EG Civic, and the paint, it, it needs some love. The paint is terrible. Uh, the guy that had it before me did a single color paint job or single stage paint job, and it just looks rough. Oh, yeah, I'm jealous. That's right. She's in our friend's got a really nice place in Smith Lake, and she's living it up out there. Been there all day and going to be there tomorrow. I spent most of my childhood on that lake. Had a lot of fun there. My grandparents had a house on there, on the lake, not far from where they're staying, as a matter of fact. So, uh, one reason I was talking about the uh, 3D printer is my printer, this is called TPU material. See how it's really squishy? It's kind of rubbery. Mine has to use, this is called what they call 95A material. It's soft yeah but it's not as soft as 90a and 85a so for me to make it soft enough i have to make these really thin supports and everything and it works it works really good uh but i need it to be a little softer uh there now part of that is my center section is a little stiff and i wanted it because it's got infill where i didn't want it but the new my printer was having a lot of a lot of store a lot of problems with it and it was starting to get hung up in there so um that's my main reason for doing the printer. And I want to be able to use a softer material. I want to start making these and testing them and, you know, making for all my friends. I don't know if I'll sell them or not. Uh, I need to start selling something with it. Oh, Lisa mentioned, I didn't finish the story about the Civic. So yeah, my Civic, if anybody's seen it, it's been looking pretty rough. 
and uh, I think I'm going to get it painted uh, if I can afford it. I haven't got a price. I'm waiting on an estimate right now, and we shall see. If I find it, I need to do it better than buying a new car. The only thing is I got stuck in traffic today, uh, and the air conditioner is terrible in that thing. It works, but... When you're sitting still, it's almost, it's, it's like you have no air conditioning. It's going to take me forever to get this stuff out of here. Ah, there's a piece. There's some of that support material. So yeah, the Civic needs some love. Uh, I want to paint it championship white. Let me see if I got, I can show everybody a picture. I got a picture of took a picture. I got one off uh I don't want to bring it up on the screen. It'd take so much trouble to do that. But I, I just got it on my phone. No idea where it's at. Time to screenshots. So I used to have an integra type R championship white, so that's the idea. Championship white on the Civic. Kind of excited about that. Uh, it's definitely not a not a nice RC trailer, but I'll get to use it at least. So Lisa's the only one saying anything. Buy one like Mag instead of painting it. No, EG Civic is EG Civic. I love it. I would like to mess with air conditioning, maybe put some Integra, Integra condenser, I think might do it. I think the problem is the condenser is not big enough. And it's only like half size. This summer, especially if I get it painted, I need to work on that. I need to get that, get the uh, AC in the Tahoe done too. Man, that lemonade is so good. Ryan Rats laugh. Rats laugh. What's up? Just toying with RC cars for the last time in the trailer. I gotta get it cleaned out. These contacts are so great, I can't even tell what that little emoji is they sent Lisa. So far, I'm not impressed. They don't feel much different than the other one. He said it's going to take a couple of days and it'll get better. So we'll see. He's told me that before. So I've got to get this thing to fit down on here. Golly. You're sweating? I am too. I don't know if you heard the part where I said I had the AC on a while ago and I got my mic on. So the audio should be good. Let me know what you think. RC Durr said it was good. Um, but I got my mic out for the first time in forever just because I was going to run the air. And I got this thing started. As soon as I got the studio open, I clicked the breaker. Never clicked the breaker since I've had the trailer back here. Ryan says, love your videos and thanks for all the tire prep video. Oh, cool. Help you out a ton. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I appreciate it. I enjoy doing that. Um, that's another thing. Since the track's closed and I haven't been able to race as much, the, the channel's not done much. I, I thought the... I actually first started the crawler thing was... was uh, uh, RC Jarrett says, yeah, audio's good. Well, that's good. Um, I spent a lot of money on those mics that I also don't get to use much anymore. I might start using them when I go to Moss Rock with a crawler. I watched some of Holmes Hobbies videos the other day and he had his own and it really makes a difference. And Mike up somebody else, Mike Bubba up or something. David Sawyer. David Sawyer's went with me a few times. So yeah, the RC the the, the YouTube channel has just really suffered since the warehouse, and that's part of my depression. And um I've got memberships now, I've got all the super chats and super stickers and all that stuff. And 
Um, for nothing. I uh, hadn't been getting any more subs. And really, that's why I hadn't done many videos. It's not been worth it. I hadn't been getting anything out of it. Oh, Lisa says she's not sweating. I am in the Civic. That's what I said when I said buy one like Maggie. Yeah, I know what you meant. Um, I was so when I got back to work. So I got, I left, I went to, I forgot my lunch this morning, left it sitting on the island, uh, in the kitchen. And when I got in the car, I saw my lunch sitting, lunch bag sitting there it's because it was the one I left in there from yesterday. And, uh, so anyway, I went to get, went to Panda Express for lunch. It's one of my favorite places. It's fantastic. I moseyed around. It took my time. I had plenty of time. I had an hour lunch. So I got back on the interstate. Uh, actually, I stopped and got some sunflower seeds. Listen, huge bag this time. And uh, got back on the interstate. And Melissa from work called me. One if I was there, she had to ask me a question about some truck I worked on. I said, no, I'm on my way back. And like two seconds later, I looked up and there's a car stopped. Next thing you know, fire trucks going and uh, wreckers everywhere. And some 18-wheeler hit the wall and caught on fire or something. And uh, they had to close our side of the interstate at my exit. So it took me almost an hour and a half to get back to work. I was an hour late getting back from, work, from lunch. So now I got to make up the time somehow. I ain't got to, but if I want to get paid, I do. <laughs> Which I do want to get paid. Look at there. Finally got it. So, see how it snaps down there? Now, I got to drill the holes out. So, pitch your gap, fix and eat supper. Okay, enjoy it. Uh, Enjoy living it up your luxury. I'm having fun out here in the trailer. No, no problem. Inches. I don't want inches. That's not big enough. And she's having pictures, having fun with her friends at the lake. I'm glad. I love to see her happy. It's what I do all every. What I do what I do every day. Oh boy, let's see here. Okay. Let's drill this guy up. And my drill is right there. <laughs> oh boy. Lisa send me kisses. Love. Okay, so that what kind of what y'all having for supper? Tell everybody on, on face on YouTube what you're having for supper. Hot dogs and hamburgers or something. I forgot what you said. Look, y'all, y'all probably hear me. This microphone, y'all probably hear me gulping. Fantastic. That lemonade, so good. So I have to drill out. I need to change the program. Dead gummit. Uh, okay, there's a trick to this, and I don't remember what it was. One of them. The bottom two. Okay, the bottom two get it all the way through. <laughs> David Sawyer, what's happening? Just working on my crawler. Last time in the trailer, probably. Why didn't I share this? Oh, they've changed this so much, I'm not even sure how to share it anymore. Present. Nope. I had to go on my phone and do it. Oh, bear with me. 
We'll share this on Facebook. I'm going to try to share it in Birmingham Racing, share the group, Alabama Active Crawlers, which is a new one I've been on, uh, Birmingham Area RC, Shark, where's RC3, RC3, uh, eh, that's enough for now. About to work on one of David's for the first time in a while. Which one are you working on? The getting ready to go to Shark this weekend. I sold my e buggy. It was sad, but it, whoever got that one got a good one. I seriously can't see with these contacts. What the crap? I'm about to take them out. So how's the weather looking for shark? Beautiful with a chance of flooding. Which always is. Yeah, I'm done with outdoor races for a while. Put the new shiny shock bodies on the e-buggy. Shiny shock bodies. There's a main sending me an email. <laughs> yeah, I know. It looked fine last time at RC3, right? I'm planning on going to Moss Rock with a camera because Bubba said nobody else had ever done the, the Bubba line. I'll make sure I got proof of it when I do. Still better, better about it? Yeah, me too. You see how bitter I am. <laughs> Everything's almost gone. I, I'm not saying that that's what did it, but that was just the last nail in the coffin, as they say. My new printer will do all types of materials. So I'll be able to do ABS, carbon fiber, nylon, PETG, whatever, all that crap. TP, every TPU, multiple colors, it's going to be on like hot butter popcorn. I'm gonna, I can't wait. I'm going to have fun with that thing. I want to... I want to be able to make people parts for their eight scale cars. It'll hold up. I've been learning some things to do with strength, but this is TPU. This is, this stuff is still pretty brittle. And, but like in this case, this crawler, it's not that big a deal. It's, it works fine uh, for what I'm using it for. But a lot of things, 
uh, like especially eight scale, require a different level of strength. So I'm up for the challenge. Where am I going to work on my stuff now? Uh, we've got, I don't know if anybody, if you, you may have seen the room I print in, <coughs> my 3D printing. I've got my knife collection in there, and there's it's just a catch-all room. So that's going to be my printer slash RC car area. It's going to be a learning curve, and it's going to be cramped. I don't know. I'm still not sure how I'm going to pull it off, but... Uh, I got to. So there we go. We got it fitting like a champ now. <clears throat> so I've got now I've got plastic everywhere, all over my computer. Uh, so I'll be doing, I'll probably do a video about that at some point. David, I put these new uh, ruptures on there, on my brass. Went out there on the rocks. I still got my three stage foams in there, which is eight scale foam, a, a hard center foam, and a soft foam or a hair bun. I went out there on the rock, and there's this one spot that I've never been able to climb. It just like almost wants to, and and it just went to it, went right over the top. I'm like, oh shit, bubble line, here I come. Bubba's like, Bubba's like, yeah, go ahead and. A lot of people say they can do it. So, my mission, I'm going to go with my GoPro to put on my my radio. And I'll have my camera on a tripod. So, I wanted to, Bubba texted me last night. He said he went, put up on this, uh, his board went 64 degrees. He had found something he did wrong. And, uh, you know, mine did 63 the other day, just barely. I mean, barely did it, but it was eating up those tires. And I wanted to put it so on that board with new tires so bad. Oh, I also bought some, uh, ordered some new wheels and some landmines to try. Just wanted to try something different, do some more testing. So I'm going to go out there with uh, these ruptures. My 3D foams, I'm going to swap the foams out, and I'm going to try the landmines. The only thing I haven't gotten that I ordered is the beef, the brass beef tubes. They, this is what they said on their thing. that they, they, they set it ship, and here's the tracking number. Well, the tracking number just says that they've received the information. In other words, they've made a label, but it hadn't gone anywhere. And on their website or, or Facebook, I don't remember, it says... Uh, um, if it says it's the label's done, it's shipped. We can't control what USPS does from here. In other words, they, they don't want you calling them and bugging them about it. That's pretty much what they said. See, I got my servo back. Holmes just swapped it out. No problem. Just it took, uh, they got it Saturday and it shipped out Monday. So hats off to them. Uh, we'll see how it does. So I printed a new, you, you weren't here on here when I was, talking about it, but I printed a new servo and battery on axle that fits it better because uh, the way that the wire location is kind of off on my other one. So I need to get that guy off there. Uh, let's see here. This thing's a little tricky to get off. So right now I've been running this. Uh, oh, I gotta get this off. NSDRC budget servo, which has been great in the trail truck. Been really pleased with it. It does okay on this thing. It's pretty good actually. 
but uh this one's the weight is about the same on this homes it's all aluminum where this is part aluminum part plastic and uh it's a quarter inch shorter so it moves the weight more forward and moves the battery forward so i think it's a good bit better and it's stronger a couple hundred pounds i think oh, anybody else in here that wants to talk feel free say hello we'll shoot the shit for a little while Pit chick is at the lake with her friends. And so I figure it's the perfect time for me to do some wrenching. I'm getting ready just to go out to Moss Rock and goof off. I got a lot to do this weekend, which includes part of it's you know, I, I don't know if I'm, I mentioned it earlier. The the back corners of the trailer the floor were starting to rot from water over the years. So I replaced the last two foot for them before I sold it to them. So I'm going out there and spray some undercoating and some silicone in places to try to seal that up a little better. The design, the way they design these trailers, uh, it, I mean, granted, this is a 2011 trailer and it's lasted this long, but the design could have been better to last even longer. I want to change this receiver out too i got i got this old receiver this old sanwa rx 380 well, let me see that thing i want to change that out that's going to be my vrc pro uh receiver which it hasn't been in the past and i'm gonna get my my other one oh wow my back hurts this other one is a uh, it's one of the antennaless uh sanwa got one in my two-wheel drive i keep pointing at it like it's over there it's in the house now <clears throat> so do, 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 do. i hadn't been on here in a while simply because i hadn't felt like doing it it's a lot of work to get this just to get this set up it took me an hour from the time I got started to a time I was live. It's frustrating. Uh, you know, if you had tons of views and stuff, I'd probably look at it a little different. But, you know, I got I have four to ten people on here at a time. You have to question yourself at some point. Uh, the, I finally got monetized. Everything was going good. The warehouse was killing it. it growing. I was getting some subs every day. And pulled the rug out from me. So now I make a video that I think is going to be okay. A lot of these crawler guys. Uh, a little difficult. And uh, don't get a whole lot of views. So a little different. Now I'm taking out. Oh, I got to do this while I'm thinking about it. This is uh this printed piece. I had a guy, one of the one of the crawler guys again, told me this wasn't was a terrible design. I borrowed this design from somebody and modified it a little bit working great and he keeps saying it hits the chassis rails well mine did too till i did that snap some little pieces off of it you could probably change it in the print if you want to he griped about having to drill hole one of them griped about having to drill holes but part of printing plastic pieces for uh rc cars is if you want the holes right you print them close just a little bit smaller and drill them that's the way I prefer it. If you don't want to do that, that's, and you want to design it where you don't have to do that, that's, that's fine too. But I like to have control over exactly the size and the, the way the threads fit into it. 
like if you're threading into the plastic that's one thing if you're if you're running through the plastic that's another so that's the way i prefer to do it uh you know i'm offering these these files when i put them up they're free um I'm just making the stuff for me, and I figured if I if I make something that somebody can enjoy and helps them out, that's fine. I'll make something. I'll if somebody wants to pay me to make them some parts. I'll do that too. I've been doing it. Just, that's not a big money maker. But when I get my other printer, I'm going to explore some other possibilities of making an extra revenue out of it. I've been waiting for David. I was, yeah, I was telling you that um, I flipped my drivetrain over so the, the torque twist would go the opposite direction. I'm waiting for one of those guys to see that diff cover where the, the trill logo is upside down. I can't wait for one of them to get a hold of me on that one. They have no clue. Been doing this for years. <laughs> I keep getting these guys wanting me to do competition stuff and everything. I watched one the other day, man, I can't. I don't see how anybody can get into that. They can't get over things, so they, they pull their little winch out and pull up. And if you like that, that's fine. It's just not my style. I, I'm not going to bash anybody for it. I shouldn't say that. But this is the one I've been running for a while. It's been holding up great. It actually... It actually looks a little better than my new one. My new one, I've been twisting on it trying to break it you know i try to break it to a certain extent just to make sure it's strong it's been doing good so far so i think i can go ahead and put my servo on here bought these rubber bands uh, I was looking for some black rubber bands, and I bought these tactical rubber bands. These are made for, like, holding your wallet and stuff, I guess, and some tactical slash survival things, what they call it. So, whatever. It's exactly what I wanted. So, I don't know a different size screw now. Hmm. This one cool thing about having an all metal servo is you use a flathead screw and it uh let's see i like the way it the the conical shape of the head of it holds the servo in place i've been doing that in eight scales for years now and i really like the way that works so that's kind of how i designed this Might have made that. Might have made that thread a little too tight. You know what? This damn thing's already cracked. Well, you know. The good thing about it is the bolt, the nut and bolt's going to hold it together anyway. So I'm going to roll with it. It's got a small crack right there at that seam. Get my new printer, I'll probably print one of those out of some stronger material.
I need 20 millimeter. Yeah, I want to turn this air conditioner on so bad. I can't risk it tripping a breaker again. The generator wasn't in the garage already. I'd have it running. The biggest problem is losing the router power. So I need 20 millimeters. You see, I stocked up my, I got to stock up my screw things. I got it all organized now. I went for years racing RC cars. Never had organized screws until now. I need 20 millimeters. I need to restock it though. I'm getting low, certain sizes. I need to get some smaller nuts too. These, these five and a half millimeter nuts I got are huge. Not organized. I, I tell you, I went for years with unorganized screws. I finally had some time one day, you know, because I don't have RC track anymore. I can't go nowhere. Uh, finally sat down and organized them. Been threatening to do that for some years. Bought me a the perfect. Uh, container from Amazon exactly what I want exactly size exact right, right amount I could be a little bigger but then it's hard to code around um, I'm very pleased with how it turned out now the only problem is my nuts are going to hit these wires I have to I need to drill it out some Wonder. I need a nut on there. So I need small headed nuts. Some HB nuts be perfect. Actually, it would be any different. I'm rock them anyway. This is where the contacts are not so good. Ah, I should put the bottom one on first. This is super tight with these wires right here. Finger too fat.
There we go. I'm gonna have to change this one at the when I go out there. All right, who's still here? I know David is. All right, I got that super tight. So my truck is pretty heavy now. Got a lot of weight in that front axle. I bet it's six pounds now. I do this and I can finally put my trail truck back together again. Need to open this hole up just a bit. I feel about making it this much bigger. Let's see. What's everybody else up to? David working on some e buggy to go to Shark. Yeah, at the beginning, David, there's a lot of talk about you know losing a track. Uh oh, losing a track and not being myself for the last several months. Unbelievable how things have changed. I'm just angry all the time. Just like setting up the trailer, setting up the live stream. Couldn't get the the microphone to work. Using the wrong cable, so the, turns out the right cable's in the house. So come back out here and get started. Power goes off. Start click the breaker. Man, every single thing that makes me mad. <laughs> I gotta quit that. I used to not be that way. All right, so maybe I tried out my new rocks out there and I rearranged some concrete pieces kind of where you can do just a little something but it's got i got a lot of work to do to get that right and i i don't know how to do it i gotta get some some bodies over here that are interested in crawling and help me figure it out it's gonna do some rearranging i got i cleaned 
cleaned about five truck dump, uh, buckets full of concrete pieces, pressure washed them, took them back down there, just put them in a pile. And I got to do, I got probably about the same amount more to do. Um, once I get all those clean where they're usable, start stacking them in, in places. Uh, then maybe we can figure it out. Hey, that tire is all kind of in the way. Yeah, I don't know if it's. I I think some of that's just getting old, David. I. <laughs> we're just getting old and crotchety. Uh, and I guess for us, the racing deal, what we could do, we could go let it all out and be, be with your friends and. Um, just that's that's gone. It kind of this kind of sucks. I guess I don't know. We gotta we gotta get it figured out. <laughs> we ain't getting no younger. I got work. The other day asked me. Are you okay? Uh, it's like something's bothering you. I was like, "Yeah, what is it?" I said, "I'm just pissed off. <laughs> I just, I just can't get right. I don't know what it is." Uh, just not happy. I got a feeling I'm kind of. Kind of hope, in a weird way, kind of hope getting rid of some of my stuff will finally let me let go of it a little bit. I told Lisa, I, I, I love the crawler stuff. It's fun. I've been enjoying it. I like the fact that it's more affordable and you just go goof off. And I, I, don't get me wrong, I'm still a racer, still want to go fast, still want to compete. I don't want to compete with crawlers. That's I don't like that. I don't care nothing for it. I just want to go out there and goof all. I like the challenge of making a car perform, you know, uh, building it. And that's, that's what this is. I, it's, it's, it's building a little monster, you know, similar to, uh, similar to racing. You just get to test and do that. Dave gets the same shit at work. What do they want me to do? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, this guy, he's great. He's a good friend. He's always in a good mood and cheerful and trying to cheer you up and everything, and I appreciate that. And uh, I hate it. I don't want to be that way. I don't want people to receive me as that way. But and another thing is uh, so some of the stuff I'm doing is hard work. I don't. Uh, I, had, I don't get me wrong. I had hard work before, but if I'm if I'm honest with myself, I just don't want to work anymore. <laughs> I'm ready to settle down and retire. It makes me wish I'd have spent my younger days smarter, investing and stuff. I envy people that can retire now. Uh, so I'm just. Looking forward to that one day. Oh, that's the wrong screw. That sucker's long. That's one I had in the servo, I guess. That's going to wind up hitting the steering. Ah, my eyes drying out. I need to hit them guys up again. Having work, working to have a stroke or got know people that do that. People that work for me done that. I don't know. Uh, one day, 
Sorry, I had to put some eye drops in. One day I'll uh, figure something out. Super long screws here. I got uh, some 25 millimeters was holding the thing in. David, I guess we got to figure out a way to just make the best of it, I guess. I ain't getting no younger. It ain't, no, it ain't good for hell. I'm in so much pain all the time now. Work out a lot. Um, I granted, I got back pain right now because I pulled something working out. So there's that. Uh, but work is pretty, pretty tough on the body. Everything I do, except RC cars are pretty much don't aren't rough on your body till you go to Moss Rock and go up and down those hills a hundred times. And you get home and you're sore as hell after just a couple hours. I decided a couple of times I had to, I was going to do leg day on day I decided I was going to Moss Rock. I said, now I think I'll just skip leg day, let Moss Rock be my leg day. See, I got a whole nother adventure as far as setting up something to to work on in the house it's not even close to ready to work on that's why i'm out here now see i still haven't bought me a good uh nut driver that's a that's old craftsman i like a seven millimeter for doing the wheels fits the all the tent skill stuff we got so i need to power this guy up and set it up on the radio i need to change this receiver I hate this receiver i don't know if i should do that <laughs> I think I will. It's hot as balls in here. Clean this guy. He's got a lot of dirt on it. That spot area where my rocks are out there. It's pretty dusty. Hadn't rained much. Tried raining here earlier today. I couldn't believe it. Hadn't rained in forever. Gaines RC, did you get burnout racing? No. Not at all. I'm still still into it. Uh it's just uh I don't have a local track anymore and I can't travel. So my outdoor st eight scale stuff, pretty much I'm just getting rid of that for now. Um, I may get, get one again someday, but for right now I may wait till a, either indoor situation pops up close by or something, uh, able to start our own again. Hang tight. Let me go grab this receiver here. I got to get the receiver out of my trail truck. To put in there. I 
All right, I'm back. My eight scale buggy had the receiver with the wire in it, so I had two of the wireless ones. So this is a 481, one without the antenna. I gotta find some of those. I got some of those plugs to plug the empty holes up. I gotta have some of those because. Oh, let's see how I'm gonna do this. It's gonna look much cleaner. Um, so yeah, I'm not out of it. I still got my tent scale buggy. I'm gonna plan on going to a couple of somewhat local tracks, you know, three, four hours away. Uh, indoor. Not gonna worry about our outdoor stuff for a while. If uh, it gets to a point where I just can't stand it and something pops up, who knows? I can get another car. You enjoyed race content and testing videos? Me too. I, and I miss doing them. I just don't have the facilities to do it anymore. So it's really hurt my YouTube channel. I picked up the crawling just because it's something I can do here and local. And it is not taking off on the channel you're welcome I, I appreciate all the nice comments i get a lot of those and uh it's been a lot of time a lot a lot of time i put a lot of effort into making the channel grow and uh, that's one of the biggest problems i'm having right now is all that effort i put into it and it's dying a slow death yeah, David, new new HB stuff coming out anyway, so that's part of it too. Uh, I could just sit on this. I could just sit on it forever and go race whenever I feel like it. Uh, and I still got the Nitro stuff. It's for sale. If it doesn't sell, so be it. If it sells, if it doesn't sell, my God, I'll go race with it, I guess, every now and then, but very seldom. I ain't interested in none of those big races anymore. The race time races, those are out. I uh lisa sh showed me i enjoy running on the track don't get me wrong and uh the last time i went out i did not enjoy myself i'm gonna go put this in there like that i don't know Will Blevins, bring a crawler that looks like an e-buggy. I'm going to build a crawler course with where that dirt is. <laughs> well, that's just the thing. I It's too much work to make it runnable for one person. Gotta have, you got to be really, really dedicated and more into it than I am at the moment. Big races are tough. Getting ready to run FRCC next season be my first points race. Yeah. I uh, When I was racing regular, it was different. A um, little easier, maybe. There's nothing easy about it. Uh, but more than anything, I had fun with friends, you know. 
I just put that in crooked as hell. What the hell's wrong with me? This side, this kid is deceiving. All right, let's see if I can figure this out here. Brown. I can't see. Negative. Shit. These same wide receivers are hard as hell to plug in. Will says, I'm really here for you, bud. And hard on all this, too. Hard on all of us. Just pray you change your mind one day. I'm not, uh, like I say, I'm not, it's not over. This is just a little break from it. I got stuff here that's going to waste, and I can't let it go to waste. So, just a temporary setback I guess maybe let's see if this thing will turn on uh, where's my radio where's my radio there you go Well, you may have missed earlier. I'm plan is to get my get my Civic painted. Championship white. Hey, the servo works. Let's see if it goes the right direction. Nope. Reverse. You know what? I don't know what I'm doing here. Yeah, it says disconnected. Yeah, let me, I showed a picture on my phone. Let me pull it up again and show you. I still got it pulled up. So that's, what I'm, that's what I'm looking at. Car used to be white. Uh, I love championship white, so it's a long, long overdue. And I hadn't done this in a while. Set up this channel on here. Crawler, yes. Set up. About like a cookie just sits in the yard. Yeah, yeah, that looks pretty good. I'd love that. I can't wait.
It's a long time since I've done this. System, I think. Oh, I gotta find a. I gotta get back to this. Set up system. I guess you gotta go to the buying menu. Dang it. Um, module. H four T I don't remember how to do this. There we go. Alright. The only color I like on AG is seafoam. Seafoam? <laughs> well, it was either it was either championship white or red. Simply because Lisa's is red. Maze is red. I thought it'd be pretty cool. And I've looked at some red ones. They look it looks pretty sweet. Hey, it's turning the correct way now. So let's see here. My steering is pretty good. Got going on here. A loose steering link. Okay. 
Okay. Green color, they come in. Oh, you're talking about like the the teal green? Oh, I like that. I almost bought one of those in the AG Hatch a long time ago when they were new. Obviously a long time ago. But I just got to where I didn't like them. I, uh, I thought about doing it blue like my old race car, flat blue. I was like, nah, but the championship white has really always been my favorite. And I saw that. I've been looking at a couple of them online. Oh, man, they look good. And the car was white to begin with, so there's that. That's a big thing to me. Okay. Now, this servo, this servo runs on 4S. It's not even, it's not even charged, and it's got crazy speed and torque. So, let's see if we can get this EPA set. Weird, this uh, this serving that other servo, the EPA is crazy different. These uh, these things are fun, man. I I never thought I'd like it, and a lot of people think the same thing too. Let's see if you kind of this. You can this ESC has got this slow creep thing to it. Really cool. I, uh, and the, a lot of you guys haven't seen the... See, I still got my wires going everywhere. A lot of you guys hadn't seen the the outrigger motors. That was something new to me, too. Outrunner, I mean. Uh, see, the motor spins on the outside. Like the armature set on the inside. Then it's got this one's got like you probably can't tell, but it's got like 25% overdrive in the front. Um, so yeah, it's it's a different animal, that's for sure. It's now got a I need up some wiring. I don't know if I do that tonight or not. At least I got the servo back in there. I need to take it inside and weigh it. Anxious to see what what the weight is now with the new new brass pieces. Ooh, I got something. It's really close to hitting my switch so what i've been doing with the wiring so this is a direct power servo so it gets its power directly from the battery so it runs uh 14 or 16.8 volts Will Blevin says he runs NSDR in his Mini B. It's great. Speaking of NSDRC, boom. This one, uh, I bought this one, my trail truck, which I got to put this back in it. Uh, the independent front suspension is really rough on servos. Well, there it goes. It's starting to hit me. So I bought this one. I didn't have a whole lot of money at the time. But I don't need the servo. I, I ran across this one, sixty-five dollar, and I, I think it's it's called a five hundred RS five hundred B. Um, it's all metal on the back and the front piece is plastic. That's the only thing is the front plastic piece. But it's been fine. I want to say it's six or seven hundred ounce inches, maybe six hundred ounce inches, five eighty or something like that at fourteen 
at on a 4S. Uh, it's been great. It works great in the trail truck. It's not perfect in the trail truck because it's very demanding for a servo. In the crawler, it works really good. Um, it doesn't require near as much because it's got the servo and axle. Oh, wait a minute. This, this servo doesn't let it spin as free. Hold on. Oh, it's got power. Let's see if that does it. Yeah. So, so uh, because it's direct power, you got to unplug, remember to unplug the battery. But the, the steering is super free. It's not as free on this servo, uh, but it's the most easiest thing I've ever seen on the servo. It's, uh, but you get in some demanding situations where the, the, uh, it gets in a bind, it'll stall out and not do anything. But not with this servo. This home servo has not done that yet. It's been flawless on this thing. Um, so what I've been doing with these wires is get some heat shrink and heat shrink them together. This wire, for whatever reason, is short. It's like I put a zip tie. I'm out of zip ties. Why is that wire short now? Hmm. It's weird. It's like I need to lengthen my ESC wire. Well, my ESC is loose. Good grief. And check out the uh, the ESC. This tiny little thing looked like it wouldn't work, and it's one of the best ones you can buy right now. Seventy dollars. The motor's fifty bucks. You know, I mean, it's got all the best stuff in this thing. You know, there are some more expensive parts you can buy. I'm not convinced they work any better. Yeah, for real though, the NSDRC is good stuff. Very impressed, and their customer service is great too. The uh, Holmes Hobby, their customer service is pretty good too. I bought it from I bought it from A Main because. If something went wrong with it, a main user just replaces it. And sure enough, I used it like three, four times. Just quit. No rhyme or reason. Um, had to contact me. In fact, so I had to contact Holmes. If I'd known I would have to do that, I'd just bought it from Holmes in the first place. So it is what it is. They swapped it out. They received it. I had to go back and forth with email with them. They received it. Saturday, and I got it back today. It was uh, they shipped it out uh, Monday, I think, or no, it was yesterday. No, Tuesday. They shipped it out Tuesday. I got it back Thursday, so that wasn't bad. So I've got all these wires. I got to put somewhere. I'm out of zip ties. So I'm probably going to put some shrink around that now they don't have an antenna that's better then this need some shrink but i've been tying this power wire up here i still want to do that put some shrink on it but i've been putting this through there Jeez. I'll tell you what, I'm getting a little sleepy. I don't know if I can make a good decision right now anyway. You know what? I'm supposed to have some new wheels coming from Amazon. Delivered. So... Hang tight. I'm going to go get my wheels. I'll be right back.
All right. I don't know if my audio is working or not. I, I left it for a minute. I'm probably going to open these up and call it a night because I got to go take the dog for a walk. Yeah, it's like a kid. More Endura wheels. I've been very pleased with these Endura parts. It's Chinese stuff. And people, it's Amazon stuff, but it's really good. These wheels have been great. I got some on my crawler in my trail truck. So I brought, this time I bought uh, the same wheels on the crawler now, same offset and everything. I brought this bronze color. There we go. It's pretty sick. Same wheel, just different, different color. I think tires are bad to mount on an eight scale buggy. How about this many screws? <laughs> you got to put on. It's not bad. First time I saw it, I was like, oh, wow. It's crazy. Uh, but I'm going to mount those landmine tires to these. Try them out this weekend. So, all right. I'm going to call it a night. I appreciate y'all hanging around. And, uh, Next time you see me do this, hopefully it'll be in the house, and uh, we'll, we'll see you next time.